Hey, Gemini. If you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am, oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. And I don't know what this meant. I just did it. If it means something, that's not what I meant because I don't even know what the hell that means. Get ugly. Hey, Geminis, I hope that this Virgo season is treating you well and has found you in good spirits. I am going to be delivering your top of the month love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to start out with a disclaimer that I apologize for the sound, the splotchiness, and the glare in this video. This is us changing up the format. However, um, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties. So as a result of that, I had to fall back on my laptop. I never use my laptop's camera. I'm working on it. I guarantee you, though, that by the time we do the mid-month, I should have a workaround and a nice solution that will sound better and look better. We're still going to go live. We're going to change up the format because it's just a lot going on right now. And I'm probably going to be doing this uh, for a minute to see if it resonates with you guys, okay? All right. Broken Shuffle, Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pence. So some of you guys are definitely going to be partnering up. And you're not going to be taking any bullshit. So congratulations on that. Um, I've been getting really low energy with you, Geminis. You guys are in happy hermit mode. Or in you are you in hermit mode? What's going on? I don't have I don't hear that chatter from you guys that I normally get. We're gonna go ahead and cut this and, and get focused here. This is gonna be a six card reading. Two cards that represent the most recent past and present, two cards that represent the heart of the matter or, or what lies beneath, okay, the issue. Two or what's the cause of the issue. Two cards that represent the overall outcome. We're gonna also be pulling one romance angel oracle card. Um, to represent the love thing that you can be experiencing. And we're also going to be flipping that over for a more solidified message for both decks, okay? All right, Gemini, you are my last video for tonight. I definitely had to pull everything that I had inside of me together so I can get this message out to you guys. But you guys have been in low energy, as I've been stating. Um, I don't feel like there's been some connection and focus on, on, on you as much. Um, your viewership is down, so I'm going to find new ways to engage with you. I might go first, um, take you first this next time. I do that from time to time when I'm trying to reach out to a specific sign. Talk to me, gems, and let me know what's going on. You guys don't have a problem with talking. And Mercury is no longer in retrograde, so your ruler is, is popping going on boom get my michael jackson curl going all right let's go ahead and pull some of your energy universe spirit angels and my guides let's go ahead and examine some love energy that's surrounding my gemini's i'm not taking that one because i don't even see it ow give me a card please give me a card that's going to represent my gemini's how are they feeling what's going on alert well we pulled your energy because that's what you guys do alert okay Ex extend your lighthearted energy to others. Geminis, you have no problem with doing that. Is that the reason why you've been so quiet? We did get to free yourself again at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you or Aquarius got this and this is strong. I'm um, sorry for that glare because I see that you can't really see this. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like we had that narrative before. All right, so spirit is telling you to flirt, have fun, take back control of your life at the same time, okay? That's what they want you to do. Let's go ahead and get these cards popping. Spirit, we've already cut this deck. Let's get let's get popping. Oh, oh my God. It came out again. Okay. There's been some conflicts. There's been some conflict. Oh. Okay. There's been some conflict from a love persuasion. Oh my God, all the same damn cards. Same thing. Okay. Hold on. 
One more card for Gemini, please. Gemini. See that? You guys got double eights. I love it. All right. I might have to clarify. You end with double eights, there's a power struggle going on or there's a power struggle that exists already, okay? You're feeling like you constantly have to defend yourself. You're feeling like something that you're dealing with is not ending fairly. Again, this is your love reading. You are not feeling justified. The past events, the devil, the conflict, that this five of clubs or five of wands has presented in your life has called justice out, okay? That's your outcome. We're not there yet. Let's talk about it again. The devil. This is strong wand energy, Gemini. This is going to be all, all fire, okay? Look at that. So this is the thoughts, the ideas. This is the patterns that bound you into toxic behavior, uh, thoughts, behaviors, actions um, that keep you bound to a mode of thinking, a way of doing things that does not serve you or your higher Gemini. That's the devil. By itself, it's conflict. Quarreling. What I call the rah-rah. And you have been quarreling and in conflict with someone that you have a strong emotional pull to. So this represents the love relationship. This is the two of cups. This is arguing with someone, a very important relationship does not necessarily have to mean a relationship of the romantic persuasion. This could also be a important relationship, one which has a hold emotional Pull and or pull on you. What this is also saying is that this is the temperance card. This is saying that there's going to be some moderation and some balances needed. You got that theme twice on the board. What is the overall? You are operating in hangman mode. Stalemate. You are stuck. Now, I'm peeking. Ooh. Ooh, Gemini. Spirit is telling you to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's holding you. Stop arguing with these people that have an emotional pull on you and your life is no longer serving you. Take control of your life. Spirit is saying that you know what to do. I don't feel like this is necessarily romantic. You're stuck because you are enlightened. Yes, you are blindfolded, but you are at a stalemate because you know what you want. But where you are stuck at is how to go about getting it. Not like the hermit. You didn't step out of a situation to go and, and walk with your light, try to figure out. No. No. You are hanging upside down in stalemate and hangman mode because there are two ways to go about getting something. And you're trying to figure out what the best road is for you because you don't want to go down this, this road of the way that you've been doing things and bound to this devil energy that you don't like. But you've been fucking arguing with somebody about doing it. They want to constantly be in your face about the way they feel like some shit should be done. It's always the same energy, uh, Gemini. Somebody always want to control you and tell you what the fuck you need to do. Uh-uh. Because then you are operating in your element and you come out mentally triumphant and, and go and get the mental advert. Get the mental clarity that you need the third eye to come out of the situation victorious and check that out that look it 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 okay just look at those for a second 
from an action perspective, you know how to get your happiness. That's what this is saying. You have the mental clarity at which to manifest the happiness that you need. And you don't need this goddamn person right here telling you. But again, this is also temperance. So you're going to be taking your time, being patient and being very moderate, getting out of this energy, going into this, patient with that person. Killing that relationship with this person that has this emotional hold on you. Take it as it resonates, Gemini. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it escape. I'm not getting that this love reading is necessarily about a romantic love. This two of cups and or um, temperance is a person that has an emotional pull on you. And for some strange reason, I'm feeling like this is not necessarily a person who you're in a uh, romantic union with. This is someone that you have to share something with. This is someone that is an important person to you right now because of the way that they're helping you. And the reason why the situation is toxic and you guys keep arguing about it is because they have a really strong idea of how you should move forward or how you should move forward and what it's going to take to make you happy with the sun which is going to trump all of the bullshit, by the way. Sun automatically trumps this devil. But it's constantly being pulled off your square, trying to defend yourself and quarrel with the rah-rah because it's constantly arguing and all you want to do is be in, in, in temperance. All you want to do is take your time and be patient. Sorry if I looked away. There's nothing over there. <laughs> All you want to do is take your time and put that water back and forth in your cup and rock back and forth like Stevie Wonder and, and focus on love. That's what you want to do. But you constantly got to fight this damn devil. You're going to you're dealing with fire. Your primary focus is split up. Three. One, two, three. Your primary focus is split up into a dual effort. Your primary focus is going to be taking the necessary actions that you need to get for your happiness first. This is the clarity that you need to manifest this happiness, but you need to think about it first. Until you get this ace of, of, of swords, you, 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 can't, you have to operate in your element before you can manifest or figure out what happiness means to you. And that's what people don't understand. And that's the reason why it's the rah-rah right here. You need to go into mental clarity in order to get or figure out from an action perspective how to bring your happiness into fruition. Pause. Your primary focus is the things that's going to make you happy. But your primary focus is your thoughts because that's the lens in which your, your, your Gemini self processes things. If the person that is, if this two of cups person takes the time to listen to you and understand how you process things, it won't be this damn devil. You are split between action and mental. You operate comfortably figuring it out in your mind first. So you got the ace of swords. You got the two of swords. You got the eight of swords. This is what you have to do first. That's your three swords. That's your mental. Then we go into action. We fight in the devil with the five of wands. Then we go into the nine of wands. And then we have the eight of wands. So there are going to be, there's going to be progress after delays. Okay. Possibly some travel. There is going to be you moving together, moving and doing exactly what you need to do for that final push of happiness. That last umph to get you out of stagnation. But then we got double eights. The power struggle that is here also exists here. See, <clears throat> Gemini. Oh, you also have two tools. Choices. 
head over heart. Do I stay or do I go? You are struggling with the choice <clears throat> on how to manifest your happiness. You can't do it in a devil environment. You cannot do it in a devil environment. See, what you want to do is have fun. That's the flirt card. But you have to free yourself from this toxic situation before you can go light and airy and playful again. That's the problem. So on one hand, yeah, you want to flirt and have some fun. On the other hand, this is what your spirit is telling you you need to focus on. I know it's the bottom of the deck. And honestly, regardless of what I pull first, to me, the bottom of the deck is really what lies beneath all of the bullshit. Okay? Honestly. So your primary focus that spirit wants, and I see that that's what you're focused on, because remember, it's half mental. So all you want to do is play, because you're a Gemini. And this does this not to me, this does not represent physical flirting, walking up and down the street, tapping people on the shoulders and flirting with them. No, this is just you operating in your element, light, fun, airy, connecting with people, networking and doing you. Hey, baby. Yeah. But you can't do that. This is showing that you are uncomfortable right now because you have to operate. And take back control of your life. And your your energy is split up into trying to figure out with this hangman how the F you're going to do it. Okay. We have. We, we go back to the struggle again. We go back to the struggle. The struggle of. How do I do this? This is how I want to do it. This is how, this is what I got to fight. We end with being bound by fear with one eight and being successful with the other. However, we know that the two eights means that there is a power struggle, but these cards indicate a power struggle too. You are arguing and fighting for your life. This is the fight of a lifetime because this is transformative energy. And the decisions that you make right now, Gemini, this is setting you up for the future. And I'm not talking about the future as in two months. I'm talking about for the next couple of years. Be careful on what you do because everything you do now, you will not, you don't get a redo. And Gemini's, I know if anybody can understand what I'm saying, you can. These two eights indicate a power struggle. On one hand, we're restricted by fear because we are stuck trying to figure out in our head what the fuck we're going to do as far as freeing ourselves and taking back control of our lives. This indicates progress after all of the delays. This indicates you being fear. This is the power struggle. The struggle over head, over me being mentally afraid, not physically. This is mentally. This is spade and or sword. This is your action. So this is indicating to me that once you get over the power struggle of mind over matter, matter wins, okay, action wins, and you realize that it wasn't that hard after all. The blended message for this Eight of Swords is the justice card. What you are manifesting, sweethearts, is coming. Get over the fear. It will end in a very, listen, some of you guys will be connecting with a Libra. Again, I've already told you all of the zodiac signs. We got air, we got fire, we got water. We do not have any pinnacle here. Okay? This is the Libra. Some of you guys can be connecting with air. I already told you, you guys are already air signs. Maybe you have this as a um as a moon rising or Venus. Okay, because obviously this is for Gemini Sun. This is you being mentally enslaved, that devil, by fear to take the action that you need to take back control of your life. But this is also the justice card letting you know that when you get over that, you're going to realize that it's not that bad after all. And you're going to go into this eight of wands and you're going to do the damn thing. This is progress. Okay. There is a power struggle all over here, but remember, you get the mental clarity in your heart. You feel it. 
and all you want is to be happy. This will trump everything down here. But you have got to stay in the energy of doing the work. I'm happy to see it. You got justice. You got temperance. You got the hangman, you got the sun, and you got the devil. Out of a six-card reading, five of your cards are major arcana. And it's eight o'clock, and you deal with double eights. That's your angel number. You're dealing with double eights in this eight o'clock. You better put your damn stamp on it, Gemini. There is a power struggle, but there is... Hope, healing, optimism, balance, moderation, an important relationship that's going to be coming out of the, the very devil type mentality. Some of you guys definitely dealing with Capricorn with that. Leo. Libra. This is also temperance, right? Or is this the emperor? Let me check. I think that's empress. I think that's what my two of hearts means in this deck. Hold on, guys. Yes, balance. That's what I said. What am I talking about? So you got you got double balance. Balance and justice. You better put your stamp on it. Gemini, you read yourself. I love ending with you guys. It is always a pleasure, darlings. This situation will end and it will be justified and it will be it will be uh, successfully in balance. OK, you will get an opportunity to flirt and operate in that very happy lens. But you are going to come out of the fear that you have of taking back control of your life. And coming out of that hangman mode and figuring out exactly what you need to do to get there. Okay? I love it. Remember, that trumps everything. That's the sun. You are going to manifest and find out what makes you happy. And you're going to tell everybody who feels like they need to let you know. You're going to come out of um, that power struggle with that individual. And things are going to work out for the better. I absolutely love reading for you guys. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for showing up and showing out. We're going to get your viewership up, Gemini. I don't feel like I'm reaching you guys. And this is like the third time that I did a roll call and you guys are last. I don't like that, okay? So what we're going to do is find new ways to pull my Geminis out. I know you're going through a lot. Thank you so much for showing up and supporting me. I am going to support you and we're going to pull you out of stagnation, okay? Go ahead and watch your corresponding video for Gemini on how does Bay feel about you. Find out how to win that reading. Again, you have to listen to the intro. It will not be tight. This video will not have an intro nor an astrology snippet. If you want to know what's going on astrologically with certain things that I uh, point out as far as planets are concerned, go ahead, check out the corresponding video for how does Bay feel about you. Cross watchers, that's what your Gemini is going through. Back off because you're stressing them the F out, okay? Go ahead, like the video, share it with a Gemini in your life. And again, it's always a pleasure. I will see you here in less than a week or about a couple of days where we go ahead and examine the love energy that surrounds you for your mid-month. And I certainly hope that this Virgo season is treating you well. Bye, Gemini.